Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about quick shots on my Mavic Air 2. I mean, I am an amateur droner, if that's a word. I'm not really used to flying the drones, so in terms of, uh, you know, like the footage quality, I can't really give an ex sort of an expert opinion, really. However, from what I have seen from the footage, I think it is actually quite excellent, it's beautiful. Obviously, I think maybe from a professional's point of view, they're going to be looking for, I don't know, they sort of, I think they sort of dissect uh, the image, don't they? Looking for all sorts of things, you know, things like chromatic aberrations, which for me, I think, I'm not really fast about that, really, as long as the footage is decent, and by decent, I mean, I'll show you what I mean. You look at that, that to me, I think, is uh, it's a decent footage. Even if you zoom in, I would say, in my opinion, that's actually quite decent footage. And if you look at the video as well of that same, uh, same trees that I took, I think the video is actually excellent as well. Really, I think in terms of quality, you can't really complain much. Um, I think it's actually quite excellent. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Anyway, the thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, quick shots. I think for those of you who don't know what quick shots is, in a nutshell, I, I, I would say quick shots, um, these are sort of automated um, flying modes, which also incorporates uh, some sort of cinematic footage at the same time. For amateur drones, that's actually quite excellent because I think one of the things that I've actually noticed is, you know, flying a drone is, anybody can do it, but trying to combine flying and drone and getting uh, that excellent footage that you actually see when, for example, DJI is uh, advertising their drones is absolutely difficult, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I think what you tend to see is you tend to have those jacky sort of movements and then that will ruin the footage. With that in mind, I think if you tend to use, uh, you know, the quick shots, which tends to come with uh, all sorts of um, uh, modes, things like circle, helix, I think boomerang as well. I think I'm going to do maybe a video for each sort of mode as I go on. But today I think I'm just going to focus on the circle. Uh, I think what you do, for you to be able to go into quick shots, you just need to go onto this um, function here, this little film-like thing. If you press on that, you then go onto this page uh, here. You come to this. And this is where you got all these other mods here, things like circle, helix, boomerang. Yeah, there's a few other uh, others as well that you can choose so once you go on circle what you can actually do as well is you can choose the height that you actually need to be on uh, in this case i chose 50 you know i just wanted to be sort of a safe on a safe height and from then onwards you highlight your subject which in this case was this tree here and then you after that you just press start and then it will begin the process, which is automated. You don't have to do anything at all. I'll show you the, the final footage.
yeah, anyway, that's, yeah, that's the footage, um, once it's all recorded. Uh, one thing I've got to add on to that is, unfortunately, I think with quick shots, I mean, this drone can do 4K up to 60 frames uh, per second. However, when it's doing quick shots, you're limited to 1080p. I don't know why, because as far as I'm concerned, I think from DJI in the past, they did mention that you could do 2.7K and 4K as well. Or maybe I just got that from a different... Um, website, I'm not quite sure, but I do believe they did say that, you know, people recorded 4K resolution. Maybe that's something that's going to come with, uh, you know, future update, I don't know, hopefully it does, because as far as I'm concerned, I think for a beginner, quick shots, it's an excellent way of uh, getting those shots that you can't really sort of get because, one, you can't control that one well. Uh, anyway, saying that, I think um, there is a few other footages that I want to show you that are done with um, quick shots, like this one here. I think of the quick shots that I, uh, I done that day, I think this one is my favorite. I mean, I'll show you in a minute as well why I think it's one of my best ones so far. I mean, that. I think if you have a look on the top left in a sec, the leg is going to come into view. There we go. And in the lake you can see the boat with uh, somebody surfing as well. I mean this wasn't planned, this was accidental, but I thought that was actually a good sort of uh, video overall. Well, look at that, yeah the boat's gonna come in a sec, hold on. There we go. That's how easy it is to get some uh, cinematic shots uh, that you can't actually do handheld with this uh, with this drone. Yeah, I've got to say the, fo the footage was a little bit uh, bumpy in between. I don't know why. It's not usually like that. I think maybe the drone needed some uh, what you call it calibration or something like that, I, I'm not sure. That sort of ruined uh, the footage a little bit, but overall I thought that was one of my uh, best quick shots. I think after I've done that, I also did some handheld shots, which I think it actually did come out reasonably well. I think I'll show you one of them. Uh, that's the one with the uh, with the ball. I think the only problem with that footage was that I was too higher up, I think. I mean, obviously, as a, uh, as a beginner, one of the things that you don't want to do is get down too close to, you know, to other people. One, you just don't know how people are going to react as well. And two, you know, you just got this sense of if you're too higher up, it's kind of, you know, like a, a safety sort of zone four, yeah. I suppose, you know, as I get more used to using the drone, I'm gonna get a little bit bolder as well, and then I will be able maybe to get down a little bit. But yeah, I, I think just bear that in mind, you know, you, you, you don't wanna be seen as intrusive as well, do you know what I mean? 
Um, the other footage that I actually took, which I thought was actually quite cinematic as well. And this one here as well, I quite like that as well. I think, I mean, with this one, I'm most likely going to use that as a B-roll, you know, as I get used to doing my videos. At the moment, I'm not really good at uh, making these videos either. But that's something that will come with experience, isn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it really in regards to quick shots until next time what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave you with a few footage as well that i actually took on the chrome let me know what you think uh in the comments below until next time take care